As North Korean leader Kim Jong-un continues to step out of the shadow of his predecessors, he seemingly still takes inspiration from his grandfather, late national founder Kim Il-sung, whose death 30 years ago, the North marked Monday. Looking solemn and wearing a dark suit very much in the style of his grandfather, rather than the fashion of his late father Kim Jong-il, the incumbent leader was shown by state media visiting the Kumsusan Palace of the Sun Mausoleum, where Kim Il-sung is laid to rest. Monday marked the anniversary of his death in 1994. Last year, North Korea didn't release any related images or footage of Kim Jong-un's visit to the mausoleum, and state media has been reinforcing the personality cult for the current leader in recent months, as if to suggest it's time for him to be idolized outside the glow of his father and grandfather. Earlier this year, for instance, North Korea began referring to Kim Il-sung's birthday as just 4.15 instead of its traditional Day of the Sun title, an apparent move to refrain from excessively revering the current leader's grandfather. A few days ago, we also saw a pin featuring the solitary portrait of Kim Jong-un for the first time, attached to the jackets of all officials at a workers' party plenary meeting. That's bound to become the popular choice nationwide. As the New York Times put it, North Korea's new must-have accessory, the Kim Jong-un pin. This is an interesting shift, considering how Kim Jong-un has styled himself on Kim Il-sung. Not just the suits, but the hair, the hat and coat, even the rifle-firing pose. This week, North Korea sent a dual message of taking the anniversary of Kim Il-sung's death seriously, even unusually reporting on it on the same day as the event, but at the same time using state media to highlight Kim Jong-un's major military achievements. For example, the Nodong Shinman newspaper commemorated Kim Il-sung's death, but in the same edition celebrated Kim Jong-un for accomplishing a feat not achieved by his father and grandfather, that is, successfully bolstering the North's self-reliant military capability. 